Colin here from Sills Argo in Trenton. I uh, just thought I'd do a, a little video on track setup. It's a question that gets asked all the time. Let me see here. What you're looking for is you want to take, uh, when we do an initial track setup, what we're doing is we're measuring the diameter of each wheel and putting the largest two wheels in the center, smallest wheel on the front axle and second smallest on the rear. Uh, a lot of people think it's air pressure and go by, uh, they, they skim through the manual and they look in the manual it says to follow a, a pressure guide. That's not really the case. What you're actually going for is you're going for uh, sag underneath the middle two tires. And you'll see, <clears throat> the only way you can check that is with the machine jacked off the ground so that the tracks are hanging freely. So you can jack the machine, just like you see here, uh, right in the center with your floor jack, lifting the machine off the ground, and you're looking for about uh, at least two inches of sag on the tracks underneath the middle two wheels. So right here, with them hanging freely, we've got about a little more than two inches of sag. Um, tread dire direction is something else that people always ask me about. The original bulletin released by Argo said to re reverse the tread direction on the middle two tires. We still do that, that here at Sills Argo, but uh, you don't have to follow that as long as you have the middle two tires in the middle uh, of the machine, the, the largest on both sides in the middle, you'll be fine, the smallest on the front, second on the back, and then your two inches of sag. We start at tire pressures. When we put the tracks on, we're starting with three PSI in the front, five, five, and four on the rear. Uh, then once we lift the machine off the ground, we check the sag. If we've got your two inches or a little bit more, then we leave it at that. If you had three and a half or four inches, you would raise the tire pressures one pound on each wheel and then spin the tracks around and check it again. 